One Umar delivered another successful peace and unity convention in Abuja. Marketers make brisk business during peace and unity convention. Federal government declares 12th of December as public holiday to mark Idul Maulud celebration. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi Welcome to iMedia News. I am Toibat Anifawashi. And reading the news with me today is Muhammad Bashir. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Now the news in details. ICICE and Nur Academy held a Quranic competition as part of efforts to test the students' ability to memorize the Holy Quran. Some of the activities include nasheed, debates, and speech presentations, and which the emerging winners were given numerous prizes. Awards were also presented to students who have distinguished themselves amongst their peers. The contest was held within the premises of Anur Masjid, Usaitu Abuja. <laughs> I thank Allah that you saw it fit to bring them to an Islamic arena where they would learn and grow with the Quran. It's not easy to come out to talk, talk less of to come out to recite. The eyes, the pressure, we all know. May Allah reward them and continue to increase them in Iman and knowledge. And by Allah, they have all done wonderfully well. part of efforts to positively contribute towards propagating the Deen of Islam, an Islamic organization, One Ummah, organized an annual peace and unity convention at the International Conference Center, Abuja. The two-day convention was graced by prominent Islamic scholars from all around the globe, which includes Sheikh Mufti Meng, Saeed Raghi, Isa Pantami, and many more who addressed Muslims on key and pertinent issues in the world. The convention was, was attended by Muslims across various parts of the country who came to refresh their knowledge of the deen. While some of the delegates shared their expectations from attending the convention, others expressed their gratitude to the organizers of the event for the success of the convention. And I have high expectations that at the end of this lecture, one will have gained a lot in terms of uh, our religion. So the station is very high. Well, I expect to learn a lot and to be reminded of a lot from the sheikhs. Inshallah. If one of them were to die, the late, latter one would inherit him. So it was like two siblings. And this was abrogated later on when Allah instructed in chapter 8 that kinship has to be restored and those who would inherit one another are the actual kinship. If you believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in partaking good actions, he has covenanted to bless you with peace and tranquility in whatever you do, with a good life. And having a cohesive family unit is part and parcel of a good life. Tuna, this individual, this companion of the Prophet ﷺ, who was a Jewish rabbi at that time, the minute he saw the blessed and beautiful face of the Prophet ﷺ, his heart was filled with love for Muhammad ﷺ, and he comes to a quick conclusion that this face can never ever be the face of a liar. I have my 
gifts more precious than gold. Uh, I intend to act what I heard myself, then tell others. Yeah. It's better to be here than doing nothing. Uh -huh. It's better to be here than doing nothing. And well, for the experience we are likely to get here today, we'll tell more people, next time I believe it will be more than this. As you all know, Islam is peace. So I, uh, I, believe, here, I believe here they will preach about peace. And when there is peace in the community, everything goes well. South Booth during convention was indeed a memorable event for most people, especially entrepreneurs and business tycoons, as they witnessed high patronage from participants during the convention, which recorded in attendance over 3,000 delegates from all walks of life. Amida crew was at various sales booths to feel the pulse of some entrepreneurs who participated in the convention. Okay, the open stop goes for 1.2 million naira. Well, we have a lock-up shop in the Azar, which is a closed shop of 8 square meters. The ground floor goes for 3.4 million, while the first floor is 3.3 million. Federal government has declared 12th of December to mark the Maulud Nabi celebration. The Minister of Interior, Retired General Abdurrahman Dambazu, made this declaration on behalf of the federal government in Abuja. He enjoined Muslims to pray for the peaceful coexistence of our nation during the celebration. Muslims have been enjoined to safeguard their tongue and avoid the use of inappropriate utterances which could destroy humanity. This was the message delivered by Sheikh Muhammad Saleh while delivering the Jumad Khutbah at Anur Masjid, who said to Abuja. According to him, hateful and false utterances are highly prohibited vices which Muslims should deviate from to avoid incurring the wrath of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Prohibited utterances like falling into falsehood, voicing out sinful statements, uttering statements to spy on others, gossiping and backbiting, lies and perjury, insults and assaults, curse, defamation, Mockery and ridicule are all strongly prohibited among the actions of the tongues. Former Vice President of Nigeria, Atikul Abubakar, was the guardian to Zainab Mahmoud Abdullahi during her nikah ceremony with Hussein Sanusi Dogara, which held at Anur Masjid, Abuja. The event was graced by friends, families, and well wishers who came to felicitate with the couple. Similarly, another nikah ceremony was conducted between Amina Yahya Goya and Mutaka Rabi Dharma, according to the tenets of Islam. We pray that Almighty Allah fill their homes with His Rahmah and Barakah. With that, we'll be wrapping it up on the news today. Don't forget, you can download this news bulletin and activities at the One Ummah Convention. Just download and subscribe to iMedia app, that is the Muslim Family Channel, on your Android, iPhone, and iPad from their respective stores. You can also watch lectures from Anur Masjid, Bainakum, Micah, and others all on the app. Once again, I am Toibat Aniko Bashir. And I am Muhammad Bashir. Ma'asalaam. Ma'asalaam.